Hey guys, it's Ren from Makeup by Ren Ren, and if you want to see my haul from the 2010 IMAX show in LA, stay tuned for more. Hey y'all, so I am back with a haul video and this is a super duper exciting one. Oh my gosh, it's huge, it's massive. I just came back a couple of days ago from the International Makeup Artist Trade Show in Pasadena and it was my first time attending a makeup show. So I hauled my butt off. Um, I saved up for about six months for this show, which is why I haven't done a lot of MAC hauls. I was also given a lot of great products to try out from vendors. And I also got gifts from people, so this is a huge haul. The show was amazing. I met so many amazing people, like truly made friends, along with subbies and gurus and um, vendors. So that's going to have to be a whole other video because this video is going to be so long. But I just want to say that if you do have a picture of me from IMAX, or if you want to send me any pictures at all that you want me included in an IMAX video, just email them to makeupbyren at yahoo.com. And once I get enough pictures and stuff, I will go ahead and make a separate IMAX clips and pictures and experience video. Um, because I actually lost my digital camera halfway through... Um, I'm at because it was so crazy and luckily um, I left it at the Embroil Lease booth and one of the educators actually from Makeup Artist Magazine, um, James Vincent, found my camera and he texted me, oh my god. So thank goodness, but I didn't get as many pictures as I would like. So please email me pictures and I will compile and do a whole other video on that. But since this haul is so long, I'm just going to go right into it. So um, when I went to IMAX, I got a press pass as a blogger, so we got a goodie bag full of some of the products that some of the exhibitors were um, giving to some of the, the press people. So um, some of these items um, were in the press bag, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, first off, we have this, which is the Senna Cosmetics the Diva Divine Multi Makeup Palette, and it has various eyeshadows on the bottom and lipsticks, highlight powder, blushes. I'm wearing the blushes and the eyeshadows right now. And the eyeshadows are really good. I've um, actually tested out their pastels palette. So these are more neutral and I really like how they came out. And the blush is really nice too. So even though it's in a palette, no quality is sacrificed. And it's very convenient to have. And I love the big mirror, really good for travel. Definitely check them out at cinecosmetics.com. This is another item completely not in the press bag. I actually bought this. It was $15, which is the show price. And it's from Purely Cosmetics. It's their Diamond Perfect Finish Powder. It's, it's a, a white finishing powder that goes on translucent. And some might compare it to the Make It Forever HD powder, but I honestly think it's better. Um, after Encore and Purse Buzz and all of them were talking about it, I wanted to really try it. So here it is on my skin. And once you rub it in, it disappears and it feels so silky on. And I'm actually wearing airbrush foundation right now from Luminous, and I like put it on top to set. And it didn't alter the color, but it made my skin not sticky and very smooth and really, really silky feeling. And I think it's because of the diamond dust in here. So Purely Cosmetics, this was our hot item. It sold out the first day. Check them out at purelycosmetics.com. So the next booth that I um, have here is from Embroil Lease. And this was a definite stop on my list. Um, they, it's been on my to buy list for a really long time. Embroil Lease is a popular French manufacturer of some really popular moisturizers that all the huge makeup artists use. So I visited and that's where I met um, James Vincent from Makeup Artist Magazine since he was one of their educators and he asked me what kind of work I did and I do a lot of bridal um, like photography type stuff like that so he recommended products that would be good for that kind of work so I'm going to show them to you first off we have the Embroilies Lotion Micellaire <laughs> it's in French which means um, this is a makeup remover it's soothing and cleansing makeup remover for face, eyes, and lips, no rinsing necessary. And it's really good because it's not oily at all. And it's very, very gentle. It's very like, it almost feels like water. And I tested it and it was really good. Um, I would just have to probably use something a little bit stronger for like waterproof mascara. 
but for like cleanup and touch-ups, this is perfect because it won't leave an oily residue on your eye, like if you make a mistake um, when you're doing your makeup. So um, it also has a nice cap on it. And I've used it already, so there's some makeup on here. But it has one of these kind of squeeze caps. So that's really good because you can get it on like a cotton pad and it's not like a huge opening. So it kind of controls the amount of product so you don't waste it. Um, I was also recommended to get the um, Emulsion Hydra Matte, which is a mattifier primer. Um, again, it's all in French, so, um, but basically it's a primer, which is great for, mat, um, for mattifying your skin, for oily skin, and here it is right here. So um, when you put it on your skin, it's kind of like a, a thicker lotion, but you have to give it a little bit of time to dry. It's not like a, like a dimethicone type thing, it's more like of a lotion type thing, but when it sets, you can feel it, so you don't, it doesn't look like the Smashbox Primer, it's more of kind of like an anti-shine. So you put it on the oily spots and it will totally mattify it. And I was recommended by uh, Mr. Vincent to combine it with the famous Le Creme, which is their um, moisturizer. So you would put, if you have like oily areas on um, like your T-zone, you would put this um, in that area and then you would put the moisturizer in the regular areas to finish the moisturizing process. And here it is right here. It comes kind of like in a metal type thing um, and it's a squeezy. And this is what all the famous makeup artists use. This is like their number one product. I haven't tested it out yet, but I just know a lot of people love it. It's very, very moisturizing. It um, has a nice clean smell and it sinks right in. Not a lot of work required to rub it in. And I've heard that it makes the skin look really amazing. And it's just, it feels really good. So this is definitely going right into my kit. I think I bought three for 60, the all three products, which was a deal because they're a little pricey. And um, the uh, the owner at Umbro Lace or the, one of the booth workers actually hooked me up with a bunch of samples because Mr. Vincent told him that I was a blogger and he was like, she's an amazing blogger. And once he heard that, he gave me samples. So I'm excited because there are very um, a lot of various other products. I didn't buy like anti-age cream, a mask, um, a hydrating cream, like a whole bunch of different other products from Embroilies, which I can try out. So if I like it, I can um, purchase it or I could even use this for travel. So that's what I got from Embroilies. Okay, so the next stop was to the Ket Cosmetics booth, and I am very familiar with Ket Cosmetics. I use their airbrush foundation all the time, their water-based foundation, and I was also there because I wanted to meet Rocky Cosette, who is an amazing makeup artist. Um, I've seen his videos on YouTube. He's great, and he actually developed this product, um, which is the Cosette Collection, and it's basically... It's like a brush holder. So if you're traveling, if you're traveling makeup artist, you'll understand the importance of this. Or if you travel with your makeup. But basically, this is a medium size and it was $15. I bought this myself. Um, you put your brushes in here um, when you're traveling for a gig and you it's tall enough to fit really, really tall brushes. And then you split it in half because it screws and it's a plastic. So when you're um, working on like more than one client, you put the dirty brushes in one cup and then you can just set it aside and you know those brushes are dirty and, or if like you're working, you can put that person's brushes in here and then just kind of have it organized because you kind of want to um, save surface space for your other products. So you can put the dirty brushes in here and then you can start on your next client and you put their dirty brushes in here. Or if you just have two clients, you put the dirty brushes and then um, let them dry, switch them to the other cup, and then have the other side. So does that make sense? I, I actually carry cups in my um, traveling um, makeup kit all the time um, because I do do large parties, like for weddings, and they are a must-have so that I know um, which brushes are dirty, and I don't ever like put dirty brushes with my clean brushes in my brush belt. I have to separate them. So this is really handy because it screws, and you can actually fit things in here because I've carried cups like this in my 
makeup kit in my train case before and they're way too big and I've carried small cups which aren't aren't sturdy or heavy enough or they get bent up so this is plastic and narrow enough yet big enough to hold brushes so it's actually it's a simple idea but a really good idea so these are called the vessels so that's really cool I'm definitely gonna use that in my kit so I then went to I think it was um, friends beauty supply and I met the um, a man whose daughter came up with this part called the actor bag and you might have seen this before um, I know that Judy from a Judy time had it in a video but this is the updated version and I've seen it before but it wasn't until I saw it in person that I wanted to really get it now if you work on set or if you have a touch-up bag as a makeup artist you'll understand the importance of these or if you just want to travel and want something condensed this is amazing. Now, originally it only came in black, but they have all these fun colors now. And I love this color. It's like a magenta with a, like a leatherish feel so it's easy to clean. And that's like, I love that color. But basically, this is, the actor bag is meant to be a touch-up bag where you put products in and then you can just um, touch up like the specific actor you're working with. So you have the clear thing right here, which, which is where you would put the actor's name or if it's just yours you can put your business card in here it comes with a strap which easily is he goes around your shoulder and it's very small and non obtrusive so on the other side you get this um, hand strap which is adjustable and then you open it up and you get a tissue part this part holds tissue which I always keep in my touch-up bags then you get this amazing palette, which is a new addition to the actor's bag because before it was so, um, sold separate. But it's a, it's a magnetic palette with a mirror and it's a really strong one. So you put your pans in here, like your eyeshadow, blush, foundation powder, whatever. And it's also removable by Velcro right there, but I'll keep it in here. So that's so convenient because if you're working with somebody and you're touching up their blush or powder, you can stick them in here, hold it like this, and just go like this, pop it on. And touch up and there's even a mirror so that's very convenient because I have a set bag that I've done a video on which I kind of made myself but I oftentimes I find that when I'm traveling like doing a photo shoot and touching up outside it's um I can't really work from it like this I have to set it on the ground and then take it out take the other products out where this can it's just everything is in the one hand and I don't have to set things down so um, then you have another zip compartment and this one has your brush holder right here and it also has this little thing right here where you can put a bottle of foundation um, and then it has this clear which is clear is always important for makeup bars to easily see things clear pouch and then underneath it you have more pockets I'm not sure if you can see that but yeah more pockets and all of it fits in this one little bag so I think I'm going to switch my touch-up stuff to this bag, especially if like I'm doing like a wedding too or something where I just have to be very mobile. Um, and this was originally $50, but it was $35 at the show. And I met the man whose daughter developed it and he was really nice and of course like I wanted to help him out so I got this and I think I will actually really use it. So that's that. So next I went to a booth called Alcone. Um, Alcone Company is a makeup vendor where they sell amazing brands like Eve Pearl, Ben Nye, Custom Color, Three Custom Color Specialists. And they were at the booth and I wanted to introduce myself to Vincent who works there because I had spoken with him by doing reviews in the past and he's so fun and amazing and just energetic. And he actually hooked me up with some puffs because I have been searching for affordable puffs but they're actually very expensive. Usually like you'll get, um, you'll have to pay like $4 just for two puffs. So it's like, especially since you kind of go through them, um, it can be kind of expensive, you know. So he gave me two huge packs. So this is a huge one. And they're like the, you know, they're kind of like the velour puffs. And these, um, these were actually really affordable. So if you're looking for makeup puffs, this is the best price you're going to find them at. Because I have done my research on them. Um, 24 puffs for $12. So that's 50 cents a puff. That is amazing. Especially for a small, I mean for this size, which is big. And it's like a pink color. I'm pretty sure that you can wash these. And then you get the big ones, which are great for body. So Alcone has amazing products that I use daily on myself and in my kit. So definitely check them out at alconeco.com.
Okay, the next um, company I stopped by is called Perion Spirit, and they are famous for their brush cleansers. And I've always wanted to get it, but I just um, was kind of waiting to see them in person. And it was so cute because there was like a 12-year-old boy there who was working the booth with his family, I guess, doing demos. And he definitely sold me, so it was a really good deal. Um, for $20, you got this kit, which included this little jar where it has this, this kind of graded sifter thing in here, as well as a little kind of cap to hold it up. So you fill it up to that to just cover up the grate. You fill it up with the cleanser and then you wipe your brush back and forth. And he did it on by using lipstick and it worked really good because lipstick is really hard to get out of brushes. And um, there was no residue and it dried really quick. And Carry On Spirit actually um, totes itself as being the fastest brush cleanser or the quickest drying brush cleanser out there. So that's very important for if for those of us who are switching brushes and then you need to clean them real quick between clients or between you know your use. So in the $20 set you got this huge bottle of brush cleanser. So it actually smells very much like oranges. So that was really cool. So it smells really good and clean. I love that smell. And it's a big old bottle and you also get a small ball like this which is a spray ball which is good for keeping for travel or for in your um, train case. And it comes with, oops, it also comes with two brush, clean, brush, brush cleaner wipes. So you can also use it to brush back and forth. And I, it was such a good deal that I actually picked up another small bottle for five bucks for one of my girlfriends, um, who I'm trying to get them to like really get into the makeup game. And um, really good stuff. So if you're interested in trying a new brush cleanser, check them out. I'm pretty sure it's at carryonspirit.com. They're also, they also sell this at Camerati Cosmetics, so I've seen it on the site. So, uh, the next booth I went to is Cinema Secret, and you guys know I love their Cinema Secret foundation palettes. I use them all the time in my um, professional kit, like all the time. And I love um, the colors, I love that they're so um, workable, and the texture is really, really good. So I definitely recommend them and I picked up some refill palettes because I am very low on some of my other ones that I've been going through like crazy. So they actually changed the packaging a little bit I noticed but these are kits on their five pan palette. I got a bunch of, as you can see this color range is very tan to dark because I, I work with a lot of women of color. That's probably like half or more of my clientele. So it's like a tan, reddish, yellowish, and it's kit number nine. This is kit number nine. This is kit number 10. Kit number 11. And kit number eight. So as you can see, like, they're all very good um, color choices for women of color. So if you work on a lot of women of color clients, these are some great palettes to have, numbers eight through 11. So I have a lot of the other ones too, like some of the um, lighter shades, but I don't go through them as quick as I do these. So these were, already, I think these retail for like $21, but they were 17 at the show. So I picked these up, bought them myself because I like them that much and I definitely use them. These are just refill palettes. And if you want to check those out, you can go to cinemasecrets.com and I also know they're available at kimareadycosmetics.com. Okay, so let's on to the next booth. So I've vi visited Model in the Bottle and I've bought their product before, but they're famous for their makeup setting spray, which is supposed to make your makeup like bulletproof, sweatproof, it's supposed to make it last amazing for bottle makeup. So I went there and I've actually purchased from their site but I knew I could save some money because they always do cheaper pricing. Um, and I picked up the Makeup Setting Spray Matte Finish and Sensitive Skin Formula. I have the regular one but I noticed that it's a little bit too strong sometimes because it has a very strong alcohol scent. So I feel like this one might be more appropriate um, and easier for my clients to take because when I spray on their face they're always like ugh because I can smell the alcohol. So I got the skin, Sensitive Skin version. I think it was um, 12 bucks, and it re retails for 20 ish so it's a really good savings. Um, I also picked up their eyebrow sealer. So you put this on top of your eyebrows and it makes it set. 
And I used to use Benefit Shellac, but that was just ridiculously expensive. It worked, but too expensive. And then it got knocked over in like my travel bag and I like spilled all of it. So I needed another one. So I got one and this is only eight bucks at the show. Whoa. And then the Benefit one's like $32. So I got one for me, for my kit. And I also got one for a friend as a gift. So in addition to that, I also picked up the Mall in the Bottle Super Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I haven't tried it yet, but I know Perspa's recommended it, so I decided to test it out. So that's what I got from Model in a Bottle. You can get it again at modelinabottle.com, and I know also Kenworthy Cosmetics sells it.